Hello, good morning, my friends. Lord, it's powerful. Let's get up on this Sunday, especially on this Sunday. Let's go praise His holy name. Let's get in His house. So let's prefer, let's perfect our houses for the Lord. Let's perfect our houses for the Lord, my friends. We well, sometimes all we can do is try. And spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Nah, no, things happen. You know what I mean? But God, God's always got a plan. God's always got a plan. I, can, I got something coming up. Won't you please pray for my situation for my whole life? Because <clears throat> God's got a plan. I can't say much about it, but God's got a plan. Just please pray. Okay, I'm about to be going going to my to my, uh, my cousin's house this week. I'm going to be working a shutdown up there in uh, Florence, Alabama. So, you know, please pray that everything happens and come right back. Maybe even in between or during the week. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, please pray for God's will in my life. Let's perfect our houses for the Lord. Okay, my friends? Let's perfect our houses for the Lord. Second Chronicles 8, 16, right here what the Bible says. Now all the work of Solomon was prepared until the day of the foundation of the house of the Lord. Until it was finished. So the house of the Lord was perfected. Okay, we need to perfect our houses for the Lord. My friends, our, I, I, if we believe we live in a camper, that's yes, perfected for the Lord. Let's, live, let's serve Him. Let's live for Him, my friends. Y'all yeah, please pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you so much for everything you do, Father. You're so powerful and amazing, Lord. Help us all get to church this morning and praise your holy name. Help us all get saved if we're not saved already, Lord. Today is the day of salvation. Help us all get saved, Lord. Help us stop procrastinating and putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, Lord. Help everybody that's not saved get saved this morning before it's too late, Lord. Help us all, Jesus. No one knows the day nor the hour of your return. The day the Lord's going to come as a thief in the night. What is our life? Our life is even as a vapor that appeared for a little time, but then vanishes away, as you say in Matthew 24, 36, 1 Thessalonians 5, 2, and Isaiah uh, James 4:14, 4, because the grass withereth, the flower fadeth, the word of our God shall stand forever. Just help us follow your word, as you say in Isaiah 48. Thank you so much for all you do. Please be with me, and guide me out to everything. Be with me and my family, my my young men. Lord, help them get to church this morning. Help them understand why I do what I do. Help them understand that they, everybody is searching you and living for you. Seek the Lord in your strength. Seek your face continually. Everybody in this whole entire world needs to be, Lord, not just my family. Please pray, pray for my dad and my, my brother and my niece and all the whole situation, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you do. Please guide us all, direct us all, Father. Help us, Lord. Thank you so much. Please, Jesus, help us all, Lord. Father God, thank you so much. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. Amen, guys. Guys and guests, he is amazing. Y'all search for, we'll read it one more time. 816, but first polls, first station. Uh, don't feel all It's all about Jesus. I'm all girly. Say they give me a little cup. And we'll read that verse one more time. Now all the works of Solomon was prepared until the day of the foundation of the house of the Lord, until it was finished. So the house of the Lord was perfected. We need to perfect our houses. These we are we are temples. Us Christians are temples. Our bodies are temples. So we got to perfect our temples. We can't be living like the world. I mean, have you heard the scripture? Be of good cheer, as he says in John sixteen twenty three. I have overcome the world he's overcome the world so why aren't we living for this world we need to live for jesus we need to live for jesus my friends let's stand strong pray and teach our houses that i tried when i when, when i was when i was with my boys and let live them but i'm also i'm not perfect i'm not perfect at all but we are to let's go to joshua joshua 24 15. we we'll read that whole verse I hear what the Bible says. John twenty four fifteen. What the Bible says. And it and it and if it seem evil, excuse me, sorry. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods, the little g gods which your father served, that were 
on the other side of the flood, or the gods, little g gods, of the Amorites, in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my camper, we will serve the Lord, okay? Just me right now. Please, please, y'all pray for the whole situation, because... There is a way which seems right unto the unto man, but the ends thereof are the ways of death. Boy, that seems right to man. Oh yeah, that seems, yeah, it seems right to me. The, the, the ways thereof are the ways of death. The end thereof are the ways of death. Read that one more time. Proverbs fourteen two. Please write the scripture down. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So we need we need to seek Jesus, get saved by His grace. Through faith, which is not of ourselves, which is a gift from God, not of works, as any man should boast, as it says in Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Please write that down too, my friend. Let's sanctify his house. Let's sanctify his house. Let's give honor and glory to his house, because he sees all. Let's not displease our Lord. I thought I wrote down that, that scripture that I found. Well, I, I totally forgot. We're just going to skip over that. I, I, I thought I wrote down in the scripture, did not. But let's give honor and glory to his house, because he sees all. He sees everything. Let's all not displease our Lord, because he is omniscient. He is omnipotent. He is omnipresent. What does those mean? Omniscient. Omniscient. Omniscience. All powerful. Omnipotent. He's all knowing. He's omnipresent. I mean, he's everywhere. I may have them two, two of them mixed up. I didn't really check on that, but I think that it's right. Omniscient is all-powerful. Omnipotent is all-knowing. Omnipresent is everywhere. I could have the all-powerful all then um, omnipotent. Omnipotent and all-knowing could be omniscient. I'm not really sure right this second, but though that, that, is, that is true. He is all-powerful. He is all-knowing and He is everywhere. He is everywhere. So let's build our temples for the Lord, my friends. Let's build our temples for the Lord. And as I was saying, was Let's perfect our houses for the Lord. This is our house. This is our body. This is our house that we got to live in every single day of our life. We need to perfect it for our Lord. We need to perfect it for our Lord. Let's build our temples for the Lord. We've got a first, first Corinthians. I mentioned this the other day. Both of them. First Corinthians 3, 10 through 11. First Corinthians 10, 3, 10 through 11. Right here, what the Bible, what the Bible says. Tenth or eleven, according to the grace of God, which He, which is given unto men, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and the and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon, for other for other foundation can no man lay that that than that is laid. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Christ, which is Jesus Christ, okay? We need to seek the Lord and His strength, seek His face continually. And now we're going to go to, uh, that, that was uh, 1 Chronicles 16, 11. I mentioned that a lot. 1 Chronicles 3, 16 through 17, right here where the Bible says. But y'all search for that, y'all please pause. 1 Chronicles 3, 16 through 17. Know you not that, that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Are you saved, my friends? I sure hope so. Stop, pro stop procrastinating. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? All right, now we're going to go to 2 Corinthians 6. 2 Corinthians 6. we got to be holy, guys. we gotta, we got to stop procrastinating. We need to be holy. If he is holy. So I'm going to mention a little later. 1 Corinthians 6, 16 through 18. Right here where the Bible says... And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? Are we trying to follow idols or are we trying to follow our Lord and Savior? We need to follow our Lord and Savior. Stop following this world, guys and guys, because this world is here to manipulate you. It's here to confuse you. It's here to distract you. It's here to control you, and it will destroy you. As I said earlier, what is your life? Your life is even as a vapor that appears for a little time, but then vanisheth away. It says something in James 4. 14. I know I mentioned these scriptures a lot over and over and over, but they're they're important. Have they have you have, have you thought of it when you've not been with me? Have you not been listening? Have you has it has it crossed your mind at a time? That's the Holy Spirit trying to talk to you. And what agreement 
hath the temple of God with idols, for ye are the temple of the living God. And God has said, I will dwell in them, and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. We need to stop being around people at work that are cussing and swearing and not living for the Lord, saying they're Christians and living like the devil. Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that opening eyes? That's, that's putting a wrong, a wrong, uh, a wrong example. We need to be a better example. We need to be living for the Lord every single day of our life. We need to be better examples if we're Christians. We need to stop falling away into this ungodly, sinful, temporary world, trying to manipulate us and confuse us and distract us. As I was mentioning, so let's sanctify our houses with honor and glory. Let's sanctify our houses with honor and glory. First Peter 1, 15, 16. We ought to be holy as he is holy. This is our house. We ought to be holy in all manner of conversation. We ought to be holy in all manner of conversation. As he is the answer, my friends. Y'all please... Y'all please pray with me. Dear Lord, thank us how I'll sanctify, sanctify our houses for you, Lord. Help us to live for you, not for this ungodly, simple, temporary world, Lord. Help us all understand the scripture right here. Thou shalt not, thou not look, not, thou shalt not look at things that, that are seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, for the things which are not seen are eternal. Our light affliction, which is but for a moment, works work for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight. Of glory, as you say in Second Corinthians four eighteen and four seventeen. What a blessing, Lord! Thank you. I didn't have plans for that. What a, what a blessing! You, you got a plan for everything, Lord. Help us all sanctify our houses for you, Lord. Help us be, help us to cherish our temples. We we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Help us be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be that as made for the Lord thy God is with thee, with us forever. Thou goest. Help us all, Lord. Help us not saved. Help us get saved this morning. Because no more for not thy saying of thee, ye must be born again. For there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, my friends. Thank you so much, Lord. That was John 3, 7 and Acts 4, 12. Help me, Lord. Help me run through this road one more time. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but I'm already again. You're so powerful. Help somebody get saved this morning, Lord. Help them all. Help everybody get to church and get saved by your grace through faith, which is not ourselves, which is a gift from God. Not a works lest any man should boast. Help my young men this morning, Lord. Help them surrender their life fully to you, Lord. Help them stop living for the world if they are. I don't know what's going on, Lord. Please just, you gotta help us all trust in the Lord with all our heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. In all our ways acknowledge you and you shall direct our paths. Be not wise in our own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil, as you say from Proverbs 3, 5 through 7. Help everybody write the scripture down and look it up later, Lord Jesus. Please, Father God. You're so powerful. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends. Yeah, because we all have sinned. Hey, that runs the road again, the Romans road. We all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I was Romans 3.23 and 6.23. Is any of us righteous to get to heaven without Jesus? No. There's none righteous. No. Not one. That's Romans 3. Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you, my friends, you should not be ashamed either. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. That's Romans 1, 16, my friends. Because God committed his love towards us while we, while me and you, yes. While we were yet sinners, Christ, whoo, he died for us. His on that cross, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his ghost for us. He died on that cross for us. And then three days later, he he is risen, guys. He is the right hand of his Father in heaven right now. He is risen. That's in Matthew 20, 20, 28, 6, I believe. 28, 6. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because he will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, as he says in, in Hebrews 13, 5. It says, Thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Whoo, whoo, thou shalt be saved with man believe with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Whosoever shall call for the name of the Lord, who who shall be saved, my friends, that's Romans ten nine, ten ten, and ten thirteen. I know I mentioned this a lot, but people need to get this in the mind. People need to get saved and stop procrastinating, stop putting it off, putting it off, putting it off because if if you believe in the name of the Son of God, you know you have eternal life, you believe in the name of the Son of God. This is this is the life. This is the record that God has given to us eternal life, and His life is in His Son. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. 
We need to have life, okay? We need to, we need to get saved by His grace through faith, which is not of ourselves, which is a gift from God. No matter what works, any man should boast, as we are to be holy as He is holy. Be holy in all manner of conversation. It's First Peter 1, 15 and 1, 16 right there. Right before that was Ephesians, Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, I believe. God's so powerful, my friends. We're going to sing a little song, okay, y'all? Y'all please pray one more time. Dear Lord, thank you so much for letting me run through that road one more time. Well, help us somebody get saved this morning, Lord. If they're not saved already, Lord, help them understand that it's not me. It's all you, Lord. It's not me. I'm just sharing your scripture, sharing your word. You are the word. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. For God, you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life, Lord. Father God, you're so powerful, Lord. Help us all understand that in John 3, 16. Help us all understand, Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. You are the Word, Lord. Help us all understand that in John 1, 1. In John 1, 14. Help us all, Lord. Jesus, please help me. Help me here this morning as I sing. Help us all to be holy as you're holy. Thank you so much. In Jesus, precious holy name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends. Yes, sir. Oh, holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Oh, holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty. God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Thank you so much, guys. Guys, praise the Lord. Y'all please get to church this morning. Let's invite people to church with us, okay? Go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. As greater as he that is in you, that he that is in this world. I hope, hopefully you got saved this morning. Hopefully you're going to get saved. Ho hopefully we all need to be saved, my friends. We're in the end of the days. The clock is ticking. The joy of the Lord. Woo the joy of the Lord is my strength. Uh, please write that scripture down too. Mark sixteen fifteen. Go ye into our world, preach the gospel to every creature. Greater is he that is in me than he is in the whole world. First John four four. Please write it all down, my friends. Well God bless y'all. Okay, because if you love do you love the Lord? He loves we love him because he first loved us. This is on first John four nineteen because if you love us not, you know it's not God, because God is love, my friend. It says we can first John four eight. Well God bless y'all. Please get on to church. Sir Little Curly. Bye bye.